slide. Hello everyone, my name is Dilip Advani and I am the product manager for the Air Magnet mobile products and welcome to the brief tour of the Air Magnet Spectrum XT product. Air Magnet Spectrum XT is the industry's first professional spectrum analyzer solution that combines in-depth RF analysis with real-time wireless LAN information for quicker and more accurate troubleshooting of performance problems in the network. The UI is divided into two sections. On the left hand side you have the Spectrum Wi-Fi summary table while on the right hand side you have the Spectrum graphs and the Wi-Fi charts. Now let us first take a look at the top left hand side of the screen which is the channel summary table. For every channel you will get the current, the average, and the maximum power as well as duty cycle readings. The channels listed here depend on the band you are scanning. This is selectable from the drop down menu towards the top of the screen. Here you have the option to select either the 2.4 GHz band or the 5 GHz lower, middle or upper bands. You also have the option to select a mix mode which allows you to scan all bands at one time. Below the channel summary table you have a table that lists all the non-Wi-Fi interferers that have been detected in the environment. You can also see a list of access points that have been detected as well as Bluetooth devices that are operating in your environment. You have the option for viewing either the active devices or all of your devices including the ones that may have gone inactive. Air Magnet Spectrum XT can automatically detect and classify 15 different interferer categories. This is more than any other vendor in the mobile spectrum in industry. In the AP Devices tab, you will see a list of all the APs that have been detected in the environment. You have the option to sort these APs either by channel or by SSID. In the Bluetooth Devices tab, you can see all the Bluetooth devices that have been detected in the environment. It is important to remember that an additional Bluetooth adapter must be inserted into the PC to get these individual Bluetooth IDs. Below this you have a list of the number of devices that are operating in every channel. You get a list for the number of APs, stations as well as phone devices. On the right hand side of the screen you have all of the RF spectrum graphs as well as Wi-Fi charts. Let us go ahead and take a look at some of them. The very first graph that I wanted to talk about is the real-time FFT graph. This is the bedrock of any spectrum analysis solution. It provides a real-time view into the RF energy in, in the environment with the current maximum, max hold and average RF energy levels. Next you have the spectrum density graph. This graph provides a longer term view into the network by displaying live information on the signals that have been commonly discovered during the current capture session. This is very helpful to identify infrequent transmitters. Let us go ahead and take a look at some of the other graphs. You have the spectrogram graph which provides a scrolling history of the energy in the RF environment. This is very helpful in visualizing intermittent spikes or bursts of RF energy that are causing wireless LAN problems. You can also look at the channel power graph which shows you the maximum and average power levels across all the channels in the selected radio band. You can also look at channel duty cycle which tells you how often an interfering signal is present in that particular band. A high duty cycle may mean that an interferer device is constantly transmitting and may cause problems in your network. You can also get a list of the non-Wi-Fi devices that have been detected in the network along with the properties for peak power, average power, when was the first time we saw it, 
last time we saw it, what are some of the affected channels, the center frequency, if the device is active or inactive at this time, as well as whether it's a hopping device or not. Next, let us go ahead and take a look at the interference power graph. This graph displays the average power readings of interfering devices on the selected channel or channels. The next graph we can look at is the event spectrogram graph, which provides a visual representation of real-time information on interfering devices that have been detected in the last five minutes. This includes information on the power level, as well as channels and frequencies that are affected by the device. Next, we can look at some of the other trending graphs, right? There's the channel duty cycle versus time trending graph, as well as interference power versus time trending graph. Both these graphs show average power in the channels that is above the noise floor and the maximum average power readings of the interfering devices that is operating on a channel over a period of time. If you also have an additional Bluetooth adapter plugged into your PC, you can get a list of the Bluetooth devices that are detected in the environment along with their properties including name, ID and services that are running on that particular Bluetooth device. It is recommended that this additional Bluetooth adapter be plugged into the PC only when you need to perform your enhanced Bluetooth analysis. This is important to remember as a Bluetooth device which is plugged into or is built into your PC may be very close to your air magnet spectrum XT adapter which may cause high RF energy levels to be seen within the application. So it's recommended you only use it when you want that enhanced Bluetooth analysis. Air magnet spectrum XT includes custom technology to create customizable signatures for any RF interferer in the world. This technology empowers users to instantly detect, classify, and respond to any RF interference source. Let us go ahead and take a look at an example. To create a new custom signature, the first thing you would do is click on the Add Custom Device classification button from the real-time FFT spectrum graph. It is important to note that you must know the device for which you are creating the signature. The first thing you would do is select its distinct pattern in the FFT chart. You can do that by clicking on, on a certain location on the graph and then dragging your mouse. Then you would specify its properties. You can provide some comments specify the category, specify a threshold that will be taken into consideration by the Air Magnet Spectrum XT product to accurately classify the repeat pattern and then finally you can also choose an image for the device. Once you're done you can click on Add Signature and if Air Magnet Spectrum XT sees this pattern repeat in the future it will classify that device in the interferer table that we saw earlier. Now let us go ahead and take a look at some of the Wi-Fi charts. To view these charts, make sure that you have a Wi-Fi adapter plugged into the machine. If you have an air magnet supported Wi-Fi adapter, and obviously you can get the list of the supported adapters from the air magnet website, you will see all of the Wi-Fi charts. But if you have a non-supported adapter, you'll see a few of them. These Wi-Fi charts allow users to visualize the impact of RF interference on the performance of the wireless LAN network. This is a unique and revolutionary approach to wireless LAN troubleshooting that combines RF spectrum analysis with wireless LAN traffic and device analysis. So in a single combined view, you can visualize the impact of the interference source on the performance of your network. For example, you can visualize increase in errors and retries on the channel when there's interference or a non-Wi-Fi device is operating in the network. There are lots of built-in unique Wi-Fi charts that I just spoke about. You have charts on AP signal strength, channels, 
by speed, by addresses, by media type, top 10 APs by CRC and retries, channel signal to noise ratio, channel errors, retries, utilization on the channel, and occupancies of the channel as well. Now let us go ahead and take a look at what happens when a magnet spectrum XT classifies the non-Wi-Fi interference source. You can double click on the device and then you are taken to the find device page. Here you get detailed information on the device, the ideal patterns and the ability to locate the device. You also have the ability to capture the entire spectrum session for replay and analysis. This can be retained as hard evidence for post-capture investigation and analysis. So you have the option to pause your live capture, to save your capture, as well as perform an instant replay. That is all I have for the tour today. If you would like a more detailed feature-specific demo, please contact Air Magnet and Fluke Networks.